welcome back to my channel. So today I have a fall haul for you all today. Um, I have picked up a bunch of new stuff that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, everything is cruelty free that I purchased. Um, and I am currently going through the process of transitioning all my makeup and skincare into cruelty free stuff. So. I needed to pick up a bunch of stuff and I wanted to try out a bunch of stuff and all that good stuff. So, let's get on with the haul. So the first two things that I purchased are from Hask um, and they are the Argan Oil Strengthen and Restores Repairing Conditioner and Shampoo. These are uh, cruelty free and I've heard really good things about these so I wanted to pick them up. Um, my hair is super damaged so I definitely needed something to help um, because I do plan on dyeing it again soon for fall. Um, so yes, so far I'm really loving this. Um, there's uh, 12 fluid ounces in each and I'm loving it so far. So. If you guys want a review on these or anything that I'm showing you guys, please let me know in the comments and I will definitely get those to you. Also, before I forget and before I go any further, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and click that little bell to be notified of every single upload I put up here on my channel and be part of the Majestic Unicorn Squad. And also hit this give this video a thumbs up if you love cruelty free products and makeup and smelly good things and awesome things and unicorns there you go all right so the next few things i picked up were from target um i needed a new foundation so i have been online looking and i found the sonia kashuk um, soft Focus Satin Matte Foundation. Um, I f saw a few reviews for this and I wanted to try it out. Um, I got the lightest shade in 01 Bisque and it's still a little dark for me so I do mix it in with a white mixer or I mix it in with my Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation and it gets the perfect um, color for me but so far I'm really really loving this. Then I picked up the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. Um, this is okay. This is in fair and light. It's okay. It's not the best. It's like a really light powder, so it's not the best, but I, I thought I'd try it out. And then I picked up the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I have missed this so much, and I used it today. Like, pretty much used all this stuff today. I use it today on my inner corners to make the color pop and oh, I missed this so much. I missed you. So, yes. Then I picked up some stuff at Yankee Candle. Um, I was looking online to see if Yankee Candle was cruelty free um, and vegan and as far as my research goes they are cruelty free and vegan. So I picked up a bunch of tarts for my tart warmer. And I wanted to pick up mainly fall scents, but I did pick up a few, like, more, I guess, spring and summer scents. So the one that I have in my tart warmer right now is called Moonbeam on Pumpkins, and it smells so good. It smells like fall, and I love it. Um, I have, like, a little chunk in there. And then I picked up two of the Cranberry Chutneys, which I'm so in love with. And two of the Apple Pumpkin, which smells amazing. And then I also picked up three more springy, summery ones, but they're fruity and I couldn't pass it up. I picked up Lemon Lavender, um, Strawberry Lemon Ice, because it smells like a margarita, and Pink Sands. Then I got a bunch of stuff from BH Cosmetics because I need a bunch of new stuff and I wanted to try out their face stuff. Um, so I was like, why not? First thing I got was this awesome pouch to carry all my makeup in. 
I have been going back and forth from here in Douglasville because I work in Douglasville. So I stay over there half a week. And so I'm always traveling back and forth so I needed something big enough to hold all my makeup and my brushes for when I go over there. So I got this big bad boy. And I also picked up a brush set. This is the Sculpt and Blend 2 10 piece brush set. And um, they're black brushes with gold. Um, I don't know what it's called. But uh, yeah, so I got those and they look really nice. Then I got two eyeshadow palettes that are going to be great for the fall. I got the blushed neutrals which I am wearing today and I'm like really impressed with the amount of pigmentation. Comes in a sleek black packaging like so and all the colors right there. Really pretty. Lots of warm tones, a little bit of um maybe a few more cool toned, but everything's pretty warm toned. And I'm really, really happy. I used mainly all this on my eyes today. And it has held up through the county fair and the sweat and gross and humidity. So I give it like several thumbs up for that. Then I got the Smoky Eyes 28 color eyeshadow palette. And it has the clear top, which I'm not really a big fan of. But at least I can like see the colors. And there's a good mix of like mattes and shimmer, so that'll be really good. Also for fall, and the reds, these two reds is actually what made me want to purchase it. Because they'll be really good for cosplay. <laughs> um, so that's the main reason why I got it, was two eyeshadows out of 28. But I can use a lot of these for work and just wearing, so. And I don't have enough mattes. So, I mean, anytime I can get some mats, that's awesome. Then I picked up something that I am so glad I did. I almost passed it up. But it is the Blacklight Highlight Palette. And oh my god, these colors are everything. Like, it has a huge mirror in front. I'm not going to blind you guys. But these colors, they don't really look like much. But holy hell. I am wearing on point on my cheeks today and on the inner corner of my eye and I am so impressed with the amount of shimmer and how well they hold up and I'm just like oh. like and I think I think I put a little bit of strobe on top as well because I wanted to blind and illusion is like my f oh God, I keep blinding you illusion is like my favorite because it looks really pink but when you swatch it, it has like this purple sheen. I don't know if you can see that, but holy hell, it is so beautiful. It's got like a pink, purple, blue sheen, and I'm just I'm shook. Um, and I don't like to use that word at all, but I am shook because there's nothing else that I can use to describe it. Um, so I'm definitely going to be using these a lot. And I actually wonder if they do glow in black light. So I might have to do for research purposes. Then I picked up a bunch of the Beige Cosmetics uh, Studio Pro products because why not. Um, I got a Smooth Canvas Primer for eyesh eyeshadow primer in Veil. They remind me a lot of the MAC Paint Pot so I picked that one up. Held up my eyeshadow really nicely so I'm really impressed. Um, I got two of the Total con total Coverage Concealers, one in 101 and one in pink. The pink I used all under my eyes and to highlight, um, and it did an amazing job, covered all the darkness under my eyes, and it's really thick, but it's not like super creamy to where it's going to just melt right off your face. It's amazing. And then I got 101, which is exactly my skin tone, which I was really scared. It's going to be really dark, but it's perfect, and I love it, and oh, I'm so in love. Then I picked up the Studio Pro Foundation Primer, and as you can see, my makeup is still on all day through going to the doctors, through getting a whole bunch of blood work done, through the fair. 
in the Georgia humidity and my makeup has held all fucking day. It is no joke. So I am impressed. Um, that is all that I got today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. I am working on Halloween series. I'm not exactly sure how many videos I'm going to get out this year, so I'm not making any promises. But I do want to at least get like four or five Halloween videos up for you guys. If you guys have any requests, definitely let me know. I do have an idea um, of what I would like to do. But if you guys have certain ideas that you would like to see, let me know. And I can always do that another time. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in with me and being a part of the Majestic Unicorn Squad. I love you and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! And so this is what happens when I take stuff out of a box. Jinx. Are you comfortable, sir? If I fit, I sit. Is that right? He's comfortable.